a short conversation between the Genesee Community Time Banks and Edgar Kahn, founder of the Time Banking Concept and Time Banks USA, resulted in these shared words for the people of Greater Flint, Michigan. Flint, Michigan is in a crisis right now, and I'm going to do everything I can to let them know about this idea and that we have our own network dedicated to Genesee County. I want to get the gospel of the core economy and co-production and Edgar Kahn's farsightedness out into the community. because I believe that it's an idea, and an idea can't be stopped. I'm going to the master planning meeting tonight. Well, what we need to do, see if you can persuade them in to do an asset inventory, an asset mapping of all the things that people in that town can do. The awareness that there are towns without money, but there are no towns without vast capacity that we're not harnessing. Could you give me a succinct thought that would be a first step that a group of people who are trying to consider what direction next they should take, how they might incorporate some of the things that you've been putting out there? The missing element for Flint and for other communities is something called hope. And the way you rekindle hope is you start off with an awareness of the vast untapped capacity that every community has. Flint is rich in capacity, and what it needs is vehicles to harness that capacity and to plug it into unmet need. And it needs to do so in a way that gives it a feeling of accomplishment and a feeling that it can win some battles. The place where I would start once I had that capacity would be to say that we have to have as a target a manageable target that we can reach. One easy one to reach would be to make sure that every third grader reads at third grade level. And the way you do that is to enlist fifth and sixth graders to tutor first and second graders. That doesn't take a huge upheaval. It just takes a determination. And there are lots of materials and ways to mobilize and train fifth and sixth graders to tutor first and second graders. I can provide you with detailed instructions that have been provided developed by the state of Washington on cross-age peer tutoring. But just think, if there was a goal that the community could set for itself, that it could mobilize young people to do, it would begin to give a sense of hope and progress at a time when it's very hard to have hope about anything. That's for starters, and another starter would be with the elderly, another starter would be to set up a youth court where kids are the jurors and talk to other kids. So there are many ways to start, but the first place to start is to know how rich the community is in capacity. Thank you. That was perfect.